Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. I'm not entirely sure what I'm calling this video, um, but I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, today I thought I would just do very chill get ready with me. I just came back from a weekend uh, trip back to Arizona. Uh, we were going for some family stuff, but unfortunately I have bad things to talk about. I don't know, I should start doing my makeup or I don't even know if I'll get to it. I'm gonna talk about some sad stuff, so warning, I guess, here. Like, talking about a little death, a little grief. Just wanna put that out there. And um, I know that this weekend has been a lot if you're in the US. Um, you know, the news of the Supreme Court is <laughs> so sad and horrible. So I hope you guys are doing well with all of that. Um, this video is gonna be about, um, I don't even know how to say it, I think that's a thing. Unfortunately, when I went back to Arizona, um, I found out like one of the days I was there that my grandmother had passed away. I'm gonna try really hard not to cry. Obviously that's not super easy. I just don't wanna be super like uncontrollably emotional in this video, but we'll just see how that even happens. I've even like questioned like, should I film this? Like, you know, it's relatively recent. It was on, I got the news on Saturday morning, which, you know, there's a part of me that was really happy that I happened to be in town for my mom to like tell me in person because I was there for a totally different reason, like another family thing on Sam's side. So, you know, just the timing of that is so odd. But anyway, um, it's like relatively sudden, her passing, which I've talked about, this is gonna be all over the place, I already know it, uh, but I've talked about my grandfather passing away. He passed away January, like 2021, and that was really like the first time someone really close to me had passed. You know, like when I'm an adult and like can actually process that or, somewhat process that. And I don't think I even talked about it on my channel until like almost a year later. Cause I just, I don't know, I just didn't. I mean, we were still in the pandemic and you know, there weren't even any types of vaccines. And I don't know, just for whatever reason, that's what felt right about that one, you know? And it's so weird. I find it really odd because I would think I'd have a similar reaction or want to keep it private, but, and I'm not entirely sure why I feel more compelled to share this earlier, like pretty damn early comparedly, but I do. And so that's what I'm doing this video. I mean, this is the first video that I'm making since I have found that news out. I pre-filmed a few things, so I had some stuff scheduled. And for some reason, it just feels like I can't, I guess I feel like I can't make a video without making this video first. And for some reason, I feel like that will be freeing to me to like, not like move on, obviously, but just like move forward with this as like part of me. Like it's tough because part of me is like, just take time, but it's like, I want to make videos, I want to do fun things, and I know, like, obviously your loved ones would want you to do that, and, like, I'm, like, literally doing the simplest makeup. I think I, <laughs> I really think that I just didn't want to only come here and, like, give this update because something about that felt weird, but, like I said, I just felt so compelled. Like, I think partially it's, like, yeah, it feels like, I just feel so fraudulent, not to you guys, like, I don't feel like I have to, I don't have to tell you this. It's not about telling you, it's like acknowledging it. It would feel like hiding it or something if I, I didn't, I guess. And I didn't want to make like a, a weird post or whatever. Like, I don't know. I don't know why I felt so compelled to do this and <laughs> instead, but I just was like, I, I can't fathom doing like the blush video I want to do, which I'm, I want to do videos. I want to get back into it. Like I love makeup. I know, like obviously you can still enjoy things and you know, it's kind of a hard one because it's like I love my grandmother and everything, but also like how different is my life every day? Not super different, you know, but it's just kind of the finality of it. But I guess I really just felt like I couldn't make this video without saying something and I, I just felt like a post would be so just weird, I guess. And, I don't know, I just, this is what I felt like I had to do, I guess. I have like no idea how well things are blended. Like I was saying, like I wanna make videos, I'm actually really excited and you know, like in a good space with filming and makeup and just enjoying my actual <laughs> hobbies and passions and stuff, you know? And so I, I wanna film those videos, but I just felt like I can't like film without what feels like addressing this like new piece of me. It's like, you know, I'm like forever changed naturally 
and I don't know I just felt too weird not to bring it up so I'm sorry it's so such a sad video I'm really trying hard not to cry and I know that like grief is a process it's not like I'm constantly just like bawling or anything it's like some days I'm some parts of the day are fine and I'm just like laughing and having a good time then something will like remind you or I don't know you just like literally zone out and get sad and so I'm just kind of sad I, I think we all understand it's like it's just sad so yeah I found that out Saturday morning I'm really grateful that she actually passed away in her sleep so that's really peaceful you know that brings me peace and as much as this was kind of shocking as like as I feel like any day you get any news like that would be shocking it's, you know for the most part um but you know I, I had been thinking about it probably since my grandfather had died you know just I've been thinking about death a lot and I've talked about that in some of my videos if you watch my get ready with me's or at least some of the ones I've done it's something I think about a lot I'm just gra I I guess just am grappling with you know the reality that we all die and I know that's like heavy to say but it's also like the truth so I don't know how else to say it any other way I'm sorry <laughs> um you know so there's a part of me that had been thinking about it a little bit I guess and so there's this part of me that's like kind of like okay here it is it's the time like I feel like I've almost prepared for it almost kind of like a natural disaster that you might kind of know your game plan to it kind of felt like that like you obviously hope that doesn't happen and you don't know when but you kind of have a few things at least prepared. Um, and so it's just so weird. I mean, grief is so weird because like I'm gonna cry again, but when you really like think about why you're crying or I don't know, it's just, it's not like in the pit of my stomach. I don't know why the sadness isn't. It's more, it's more like a little veil. And I think part of me felt like I can't not make this video partially too, because I don't know, I guess it felt like it gave me freedom to like, I guess act however I want afterward and again not to you to myself like something about saying it out loud I've realized like there's this part of me that kind of wants to just not move on like you know it's more just like yeah this is like you know be res like I'm being responsible or like mature about it or something and tr trying to go that way about it but there's this other part of me that wants to like tell everyone I meet and kind of like not scream it out in like anger but just like it be very forefront and not to like burden other people or I don't even want them to be sad I think it's I think it's more about just being open and honest and like laying down the context that is my life and um and then proceeding forward or whatever because if not it just feels like when do you say this when do you just like bring up the news and again it's not like a parent like you're exact parent it's a grandparent and so I guess I found that weird like when do I tell people and like how do I tell people and like I still want to hang out and have fun but also like it's weird if I don't tell you this thing like I don't know that's just something I've been thinking about and I think it kind of deals with this like again I know I don't have to tell you it's not I don't feel like that but I also just feel like it's for me like it's a hundred percent for me so I can like okay everyone knows this like Sometimes shit can get real and we can talk about it. Other times we can just chill, hang out, laugh. Maybe randomly I'll start crying and you get it and know why and we just, you know, like that's kind of how I feel about it. So I don't know if I like split off and stop talking about something that I was like in the middle of, but I do want to say like, I am fine. Like overall, Sam's amazing. I have like amazing support and my grandma's like awesome. And like, you know, I feel like I was closest to her out of all my grandparents. Like she was more of the badass type you could like tell anything to type of person, you know, like understanding and not judgmental and holy shit, my eyes are so red right now. Anyway, she wants like a celebration of her life. Like she was very adamant <laughs> about not having a sad funeral. And so of course we're gonna do that. And I really try to think about that when I <laughs> get super sad or just, it's more like I'm just uncontrollably crying. Like honestly, I'm like, please dear God girl <laughs> and that she's you know in a better place in a lot of ways she had suffered a stroke like a year and a half ago and it really did change up her you know way of life like she wasn't as independent or independent really much at all and you know she was not happy about that <laughs> she wants to do what she wants to do and you know that wasn't the case anymore and so I know that you know can rest now but 
it's obviously still really fresh and sad but I still want to like do things and obviously when I'm not talking about this I can just talk about blush and have a good time but like I said I just didn't feel like I could do that <laughs> I, I wanted to so bad. I really wanted to, but every, like, I felt like I was thinking of every pathway to not have to make this video. And I just couldn't. I couldn't think of one. Because then I feel like I would be, like, thinking about it while I'm talking about the blush. And then, and then I'm just crying about blush. And, you know, no blush is hopefully that disappointing or really worth the tears. So I know I'm being brave right now. And I'm gonna attempt to put on some mascara. I'm only putting it on the top and it's literally not waterproof um, This is my cry cry face makeup <laughs> where you can cry and hopefully, you know, you look put together Because I haven't done makeup and so I like want to do it I want to do the makeup I want to talk to you about all these shiny pretty powders and I'm excited to get back into it Don't get me wrong. Like it's so hard. I think that's one of the weird things about grief is it's like so many a million emotions and I feel like for me there's a part of me that's like you know you should be more sad you can't enjoy good things you like how could you do that your grandma just died or I don't know weird stuff like that and I know that's like girl first off grandma wants you to have fun like for sure obviously and like if there's one lesson to learn from death it's that you know obviously have your moment have your grief I get it <laughs> guys I get that like I totally get that and like who knows what that is, but it's not linear. It's Grief doesn't work like that either where, okay, I cried my prescribed amount of time at the beginning and now everything should be fine and I shouldn't cry anymore. It's like, no girl, you're gonna be crying and then happy and laughing and then a random thing triggers you and you cry more and like, it's just, you know, you're fine for six months randomly. You just think a thought and you're done for the whole day. Like that's just how it works. But we learn from death that YOLO baby, like, you should be enjoying yourself. You should be doing what you want to with this time on earth, man. Let me get on a soapbox, but this is part of like some of the stuff I was, I've been thinking about just with death and all of that, you know? And it's also like, if you think about it, if you want to think about the guilt thing, like if you're feeling guilty, I'm not trying to give advice also. I don't know what I'm, I'm just saying things I think, okay. With the guilt thing, it's like, really, your loved one doesn't want you to like not to live your life or do stuff. Like honor their memory by living life to the fullest, by pursuing your passions, your dreams, why you're here with the time you are here. You know what I mean? Like that's what they want you to do. Obviously that might take a little bit of time. I'm just saying sometimes I have to think about that. And I think it's especially weird when it's someone, you know, like I hadn't seen my grandma in a long time because of COVID and everything. But even then I don't live in the same state. I don't, I didn't see her a lot even before, you know, weird COVID stuff. So there's this weird also duality that it's like, I know that something so fundamentally and like deep and crazy has changed, but also, my day-to-day -day life is like the same, you know? And so I think that kind of like adds confusion to emotion and kind of, it's just like a weird thing to also kind of grapple with, I guess. But yeah, okay. I've done my makeup. I actually think it looks really good. Like for a girl who's bawling her eyes out at any moment, <laughs> I feel like I look kind of cute. Like I'm kind of into it. Yeah, I know this was a lot of a video. I'm really sorry if it's kind of sad. Um, <laughs> I just need to post it for me mostly <laughs> so I can like have other videos because I already have like I already know what I want to film like I'm excited like I want to go film it but I kind of needed this context just out in the world like I just I don't want to hide it I don't want to feel like I can't talk about it I am not one for shoving shit under the rug or like just putting on a happy face like people can see through me in a second see my emotions in a second I cannot hide it and so you know I'm just <laughs> taking that approach with this one for whatever reason it just felt right I know it's weird to like be so vulnerable I guess or crying like I'm like you know crying a lot in this video I feel like it's the only video I've ever done quite like this you know but I literally didn't know what else to do so anyway this might get ready with me I hope you guys enjoyed the video that's like a weird thing to say um more I thank you for being watching the video I guess and um you know I appreciate you I'm excited to talk about makeup I'll probably have a like a few videos back to back because I'm excited to film and talk about makeup and enjoy makeup and do my thing, you know, live life. So anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. I know there's so much going on right now. 
and has been. I mean, when, God, are we, we're all exhausted, aren't we? But I definitely wanna get on here and be filming and enjoying myself and hopefully, you know, my videos can be a source of joy for you in tough times and just, you know, a little reprieve from <laughs> other, uh, other news and videos and things. So um, yeah, I hope you're doing well. I appreciate you guys so much and I'm going to end the video. <laughs> oh, I did it, okay, <laughs> bye guys.